To solve part A, we're going to need to use the velocity equation, which is the velocity is equal to the distance divided by the time. We'll rearrange and we'll solve for the time. So we'll get that the time is equal to the distance divided by the velocity. Now, when the Polaris star or the North Star burns out, light will emit across the vacuum of space. So the speed at which this light will travel will be the speed of light in a vacuum. So we'll get that t is equal to the distance divided by the speed of light. So when plugging in the numbers, we'll get that the time is equal to 6.44 times 10 to the 18th meters divided by the speed of light in a vacuum, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And we'll get a time of 2.15 times 10 to the 10th seconds. Now the question is asking it to be in units of years. So we'll do a little conversion factor right here. And we'll find that the time it takes is 682 years. Part B, once again, we're going to use the relationship that t is equal to the distance divided by the speed of light. Now the distance from Earth to the sun is 150 times 10 to the 9th meters. And then we'll take that number and divide it by 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And we'll get a time of 500 seconds. Once again, we're going to have to do a little bit of conversions. And we'll get that the time it takes is going to be 8.33 minutes. Or you can also think of it as 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Now for part C, again, we use the relationship t is equal to the distance divided by the speed of light. Now for the microwave to travel to the, to the moon from Earth, and come back, you're going to have to double that distance. And also be careful that you'll need to change this right here. This is in kilometers. We're going to need it to be in standard units, which it would be meters. So we would have two times 3.84 times 10 to the eighth meters. And we'll divide that by the speed of light. And we'll get that the time it takes would be 2.56 seconds.